Hello everyone, and welcome back to part 14 of Build the Battleship Yamato. Okay, as you can see on the desk, I've uh, got the Imato with the first five planks added already. It wasn't easy, not that it wasn't easy to, uh, to do the planking, it wasn't easy to film this procedure because obviously I had, to, I had to turn the Imato on its side and I tried to get it from the front and obviously I had to get it from the top. Yeah, so it, it presented quite a few challenges just in the filming, but anyway, I hope I did okay. So, in this latest issue, once we're just opening up the packaging, we get some parts of the superstructure. We also get our first 10 planks. I'm going to start off just by laying all the parts together, just so I get a rough idea of what it's going to look like when I glue it up. And just checking the fit. So in this section I decided to use epoxy resin this time and I'm sort of applying the epoxy and then the hardener in equal quantities before I mix it together. I decided that I thought it would be easy to glue the parts together actually upside down. So I could lay them on the bench, lay them flat, and I could use some clamps just to clamp them in place while the glue dries. So I'm just going to glue up the final section, just glue it on the two faces that make contact. Like I said earlier, it was so much easier just to turn the parts upside down. It showed you all the recesses that I could add clamps to and just made the job a lot easier. And that's all the first parts of the superstructure glued together. Okay, so now it's time to move on to the planking. And the first thing I'd like to do is just check the overall width of the planks applied. 99% of the time, they're really good, but every now and again, you might get an odd one. They're just going to throw your whole planking off if you leave it in. So 
So I'm just going to start off by marking the taper that needs between the first bulkheads and the fifth bulkhead towards the bow. And it does need slightly tapering around about 5 degrees, 10 degrees. If you to ship building, just to uh, achieve this taper, it's quite easily made just using a file or some sandpaper. It takes some time, but overall you'll get there. Because I'm an experienced shipbuilder, I like to achieve my tapers a different way. I'm just using a drum sander fitted to the Dremel arm and using a 400 grit sandpaper with the speed at the lowest settings and just removing the material this way. It's a lot quicker. But you still have to be very careful because you can quite easily remove the material very quickly. I've just changed my camera angle over just so you can get a different look at the procedure. I'm just going to finish off this last section by hand, just where the drum sander can't get in. As you can see from this angle, all the bulkheads are nice, slightly tapered towards the bow. So I'm just marking this first plank to length, and on the first plank, it needs to be cut on the fifth bulkhead. So I'm just trying to find the position for this first plank and in the instructions it says it needs to sit in the grooves on the bulkheads number 3, 4 and 5. So I'm just laying in that position I'm just going to mark it with a pencil. So now it's time just to glue in the first plank in place. In the instruction it tells you to use super glue, but I just prefer the old, old procedure. I was using the wood glue and pins, especially on the first plank. So I'm just laying the plank in the position that I made the marks with. And after I'm happy with the position, I'm just going to use my pin pusher and just start to push the pins in. So now it's time to start adding a second plank. 
So let's hold it with a clamp first while I can mark it. And this one ends on the fourth bulkhead. Because this second plank is going to butt up nice and flush to the first plank, we just need to slightly gently taper it. Taper it backwards around about five, five degrees. I'm just using sandpaper to achieve this. So now it's time to bring the two planks together. And because we tapered that second plank, it just fits so nice. And I'm just using modified spring clamps, just so I can hold the two planks together really tight and close up any gap. I'm just holding this clamp up to the camera, just so I can show you that I use it on the, on the back jaws of the clamp. So now we're going to move on to fitting the third plank. And this is the same as the first plank and it's cut to length on the fifth bulkhead. As you can see I'm just using a spacer for the same thickness of the wood just to make sure I've got an even gap. And I'm just going to apply glue to the entire top section of the plank. I'm just going to pin this last section of the plank that lies up on the fifth bulkhead just because we'll be removing that space of plank. Let's move into the fill off plank. We notice towards the bow that we start to get a little bit of twist. In the instructions, it recommends you to soak this section, but it's quite easily achieved by gluing it and applying a pin. I'm going to apply the fourth plank and every plank so far has been tapered like the second plank but I only have to show you that procedure once. I like the forms using a spring clamp just to hold all the planks nice and bulb together in a nice tight fit. Like I said, I'm just using a pin in the pin pusher just to take out that spring in the one bulkhead.
So now it's time to fit the final plank. And like I've done before, just make sure I plank glue to every edge. And I'm just checking to make sure that the taper was in the correct position before I start to plank glue. I'm just going to apply these spaces like I had before, just so we keep an equal gap when we start planking the rest of the section. So sometimes, even though I've already pre-pinned that section, sometimes you can split it when you're pinning it. But that's not a major problem if it happens. So I'm just going to take my little side cutters and I'm just going to ease the pin back slightly. And then just taking some PVA glue. I'm just going to fill up the little splinter. Then I'm just going to clamp it with a little mini clamp. And that does a reattach where the wood split. So the glue's been drying on the Umato for the parts of the planking that I glued up two days ago. And just to finish off the video, I just want to show you how to easily remove the pins that we put in. I'm just using a pair of side cutters. These are what I used to also remove the little plastic parts out of the sprues. It's just a case of just putting it flat against the plank and just pull it, pull it back. It's easy as that. Try and get an old pair, obviously don't get your best ones. This is a nail that's quite flush. And just dig in the wood a little bit and then just prise it backwards. And it all pops out. And just carry on until you've removed them all. And that's all the fire planking added for this section. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I just brought this here superstructure back that we glued up in the first section of the video. It's all nice and solid. There was another procedure that needed to do, but I didn't, I didn't film that. And all these seam lines just need filling with a little bit of modelers putty and sanding flush. But I'll probably, there's more of this to be added in the next video. So I'll probably do that then. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.